What is going on guys? This is Elijah here and I am back with another college football prediction video and this time it is between the Nebraska Cornhuskers versus the Colorado Buffaloes. Alright, so as you guys know that we're going to be talking about the Nebraska Cornhuskers versus the Colorado Buffaloes in this week's prediction video and it's a rivalry game and it's a pretty good rivalry game as you guys know also that last year the Colorado Buffaloes and Mel Tucker's second season uh, beat um, Scott Frost's uh, first season as head coach, beat Nebraska 33-28. Uh, it was a pretty good game. It was also in Lincoln, Nebraska. And, of course, this year's uh, matchup between the two, it'll be played at Folsom Field, which is in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, coverage will be on Fox Sports. Uh, time will be 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, September 7th, uh, 2019. I think it's going to be a pretty good game. Uh, last year was also a, a, a thriller game as well because it went down to the last uh, minute. Of, uh, it was just going back and forth. And of course, Colorado won 33-28. Pretty close game, one score touchdown. So this year is going to be, I think, closer again. Uh, but let's go through uh, the match predictor like I always do, the season leaders, and of course, uh, the team stats after the week one of college football. And boy, has week one been crazy enough with uh, Tennessee losing to Georgia State. Missouri losing to uh, Wyoming, and then my team, UNC, beating South Carolina. It's been a crazy, wild weekend of college football, and I'm so happy that college football is back, and it's just going, and it's just be awesome this year. Hopefully, UNC will do well, but that's not what we can talk about. I'm talking about the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the Colorado Buffaloes. All right, so the match predictor has Colorado by 3%, or 3 points, I guess. Uh, they have they over uh, Nebraska by 51.2%. While Nebraska has 48.8% in the metric predictor. Uh, so, from there, we're going to go to the season leaders. And uh, Adrian Martinez and uh, St uh, Stephen, um, or Steven Montez, my bad, are both back with the team. Both pretty good uh, quarterbacks. Uh, uh, Adrian Martinez didn't really do so well against the South Alabama, but they still won 35-21. Uh, Steven Montez did really well against uh, Colorado State. Uh, so let's go through the season stats for passing yards for the top two leaders, which is Adrian Martinez from Nebraska. He went 13 for 22, 178 passing yards and one interception. So not really too great to start off the week one. Uh, Steven Montez uh, for Colorado um, went 13 for 20, 232 passing yards and two touchdowns. So pretty good, almost similar to Adrian Martinez's completion to percentage uh, rate or uh, attempts to passes. My bad. All right, so rushing, we got the top two leaders of rushing for Nebraska. We got uh, Dedrick Mills with 15 carries, 44 yards, and two touchdowns, so not bad at all. Uh, we got, uh, for Colorado, we got Alex uh, Fontenot. I I'm sorry for pronouncing the last name. Uh, is it Fontenot or Fontenot? Uh, just let me know in the comments below uh, how the uh, last name is pronounced. He had 19 carries, 125 uh, receiving yard or rushing yards, and three touchdowns, so pretty good. Uh, to start out the year for week one. All right, uh, for receiving wise, we have Jack Stoll uh, for Nebraska. He had three receptions, 66 uh, receiving yards, so pretty good as well. Uh, no touchdowns. Uh, for Colorado, we have uh, Tony Brown, who is a top receiver, receiver to Colorado after week one. Um, he had three receptions and 71 receiving yards. All right, so lastly, we're going to go through team stats. Uh, points per game after week one, Nebraska 35 point, uh, points per game, Colorado 52.0 points per game, uh, points allowed for Nebraska uh, 21.0 uh, for points allowed per game, which is after week one, Colorado 31, so look for there for Nebraska's defense to play a part of this rivalry game this upcoming Saturday, total yards, Nebraska 276, while Colorado's 475 uh, uh, total yards. Expect Steven Montez to have a good game uh, as well as Fon uh, Fonte not also to have a good, a good game as well. All right, so passing yards, uh, yards passing total, Nebraska 178.0, while uh, Colorado 232.0. Rushing, uh, yards of rushing, uh, Nebraska's uh, 998, my bad, 98.0 uh, yards, while Colorado with 243 uh, uh, rushing yards. So look also for 
Colorado's offense to do well against Nebraska's defense. Yards allowed. This is going to be the key game for both of these teams is yards allowed. Nebraska, uh, 314.0 yards allowed, while Colorado, 505.0 yards allowed. So that's going to be a key uh, advantage for Nebraska in their defense against Colorado. But I think Colorado's offense is going to be better than Nebraska's offense. All right, so passing yards allowed. Nebraska, 231.0, while Colorado, 374.0. So that could be, a, it could be an advantage for uh, Adrian Martinez for Nebraska to do well against Colorado's defense. So who knows? Rushing yards allowed, 83.0 for Nebraska. And, of course, uh, for Colorado, 131.0 for Colorado. So I think it's going to be in the 30s again. I think uh, Nebraska, I'm going to go through, I'm going to do my predictions for both teams. Um, so I think Nebraska is going to win uh, 31 to 24, or I think Colorado is going to win 31 to 28. It's going to be another close game. It's going to be a one-sided game. I think either, either team is going to score in the last minute or the last drive in the fourth quarter. It's going to be a high up tempo game. So high scoring. And I think that is my prediction. And uh, my prediction is Nebraska 31 to 24 and Colorado 31 to 28. If you guys don't like the scores, just comment below what you guys think. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Who's going to win this game? Uh, will Nebraska take revenge on the, on the rivalry game? Or will Colorado keep the winning streak alive? All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. And peace.